The other option you have to weld aluminum is the 4T option. In MIG 4T, your trigger is reprogrammed. When you pull and hold your trigger like you normally would do for the machine to weld, you are in hot start. Whatever settings you see here, your amperage setting um, of 65 amp, you will see roughly 30% more, so you will see about um, 85, 90 amps like this during the hot start period. And then when you let go of the trigger, it will drop down to your welding amperage. So there is no limit to how much hot start you can get. Uh, you just cannot get more than 200 amps for more than 10 seconds. But if you're below 200 amps, you can have hot start for indefinite. When you let go of the trigger, the machine goes to the welding parameters. Then when you pull and hold the trigger again, it will go into the T2 slope down menu. And let's say you have this set to five seconds. The machine will then run as you hold the trigger for the second time for five seconds. If you feel you want to terminate the slope down prematurely, you can let go of the trigger and cancel the remaining of the slope down. 4T is your preferred method to weld aluminum if you do not have any remote control options as you have control over the hot start and the crater fill that is superior to 2T. Where in 2T you can choose a hot start, you have to commit to a specific amount, a specific time of hot start before you pull the trigger, no matter if your material is cold or hot. It's very inconvenient to go back into the menu and change this for every start individually. Where in 4T, you can go and change the time as you feel by pressing the trigger longer or shorter. Also, 4T gives you the option to cancel your slope down timer prematurely, where on 2T, when you let go of the trigger, the timer will run out regardless if you have room for an additional five seconds of weld material to go somewhere or not.